As the men and women of day shift lock, load, and hit the road, they are armed with an entirely new type of law enforcement weapon. All right, where are we going? The ability to predict where crime is going to occur. Positive for Howard Marks. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours and four minutes. Hey guys, recently I posted a video and it did very well, 200,000 views. I'm gonna post the same video, but this time somebody sent me an email and it was kind of mind blowing. I'm gonna read this email to you guys, so pay attention. Hey, I was just watching that video with the cops showing up at the woman's house for her Facebook posts and thought maybe you'd be interested in knowing more on the subject. Check out this study called To Surveil and Predict. And here's a summary. This report examines algorithmic technologies that are designed for use in criminal law enforcement systems. Algorithmic policing is an area of technological development that, in theory, is designed to enable law enforcement agencies to either automate surveillance or to draw interferences through the use of mass data processing in hopes of predicting potential criminal activity. The latter type of technology and the policing methods built upon it are often referred to as predictive policing. Algorithmic policing methods often rely on the aggregation and analysis of massive volumes of data such as personal information, communications data, biometric data, geolocation data, images, social media content, and policing data such as statistics based on police arrests or criminal records. I also found this part very interesting. The primary research findings of this report show that technologies have been procured, developed, or used in Canada in all three categories. For example, at least two agencies, the Vancouver Police Department and the Saskatoon Police Service, have confirmed that they are using or are developing predictive algorithmic technologies for the purpose of guiding police action and intervention. Other police services such as in Calgary and Toronto have acquired technologies that include algorithmic policing capabilities or that jurisdictions outside of Canada have leveraged to build predictive policing systems. The Calgary Police Service engages in algorithmic social network analysis, which is a form of technology that may also be developed by law enforcement to engage in person-focused algorithmic policing. Numerous law enforcement agencies across the country also now rely on a range of other algorithmic surveillance technologies. For instance, license plate readers, facial recognition, and social media surveillance algorithms or they are developing or considering adopting such technologies. This report also uncovers information suggesting that the Ontario Provincial Police and Waterloo Regional Police Service may be unlawfully intercepting private communications in online private chat rooms through reliance on an algorithmic social media surveillance technology known as the ICAC, Child Online Protection System. Other police services throughout Canada may also be using or developing additional predictive policing or algorithmic surveillance technologies outside of public awareness. Many of the Freedom of Information requests submitted for this report were met with responses from law enforcement authorities that claimed privilege as justification for non-disclosure. In other cases, law enforcement agencies did not provide any records in response to the submitted FOIA requests or requested exorbitant fees in order to process the request. I will probably be in touch again at some point in the near future. I've got some videos I'm trying to get a hold of, but they're trying to make up every excuse in the book in order to try to refuse my request. Thanks for doing what you do. If I ever grow some balls, I'd love to expose some of the bullshit the police around here get up to. They're pretty sneaky with their shit. All right, guys, does any of that shit make sense other than you are being monitored completely? So the video I had uploaded is a perfect example of what predictive policing is, folks. So in case you missed the first video, here it is again, and I'll give you some final thoughts at the end of the video. Here we go. Sorry, since you're at my home, can I just get your name and your badge yeah. number, please? I have a card here. Okay. It's Erica Ingram. Thank okay. you. And this is just some information about peaceful protests. That's all it is. Okay, so you saw something on my Facebook? No, on the Facebook <clears throat> group. Okay and decided to come to my personal residence to give me information about peaceful protest? Yes. Folks, if there's one thing I know is that my social media accounts are being monitored. I wanna point something out though. I don't condone violence. I have to go through my comment section and delete as many violent based comments as possible. One thing I've noticed though is that uh, a lot of police supporting channels, all them back to blue channels, 
They really do love them violent based comments. Don't ask me why. Check out this video from the unknown videographer. This is definitive proof that they're monitoring your social media accounts. Check this out. Okay, so are the Peterborough police, no, you're with OPP? Um, are you guys now monitoring people's Facebook pages or Facebook groups to who comments as to what their um, uh, status updates are or what they're doing or so within the group? Just like because of the protest happening province-wide, yes, we have been monitoring the protests. Okay. okay. So there's a protest coming up. I'm simply providing you with information about a peaceful protest. And now I'm leaving. Oh, okay. That is all. So the Ontario Provincial Police are watching what people are doing on Facebook in different groups, whether or not they're commenting, participating, liking, and you guys are now doing service calls to give people information about peaceful protests. Yeah, it's just a proactive measure to make sure you understand your rights about peaceful protesting. I absolutely, I have Perfect. a copy of the Canadian Charter of Rights Excellent. and Freedoms, so Excellent. I'm well within that and, and yeah. very understanding of that. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm, okay. I'm hoping that uh, you guys aren't going to waste our tax dollars continuing to do this to everybody, but uh, now it's nice to know that uh, we're, we're being watched. So. If you have any questions, my cell phone number is on the card. Thank you. Okay. Community representatives expressed the overriding concern that algorithmic policing tools would perpetuate systematic discrimination against marginalized communities while simultaneously making the underlying systematic issues and root problems in the criminal justice system that cannot be fixed through technology. Offering a more fantastic method of police profiling is not a solution. It is actually a strategy to continue profiling black people, indigenous people, and other racialized groups. And folks, keep in mind that this is definitely going to take a toll on people with mental issues and disabilities. Sometimes algorithms will not be able to catch things and police officers will get things wrong. With that being said, thank you guys all for tuning in. Make sure you share this video with everybody you know. It's important that we begin to understand what is happening out there, what the police are doing to the people. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. One more thing before you guys go. This here on the left is my QR code for my channel. You guys screenshot that and send it to friends and family. Tell them to subscribe. They will definitely learn something from my work. Also, if you guys have any videos that you want us to look at, send them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. The best way to do that is go ahead and upload it to YouTube. Leave it on unlisted if you want me to edit something out of it. Copy your link, paste it on the email. Again, that email is recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Try to specify if you want me to leave you anonymous. We can do that for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will definitely see you on the next video if you hit the bell. That way you get all my notifications. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.